I don't be, don't be too happy as Dr. Ghazi was trying to do. Now I want to tell you another story. Muslim people alienated themselves, segregated themselves, said we have nothing to do with the dirty coffee society. Okay? These people will go to hell and they are our enemy too, this kind of thing. Then Allah said, say, okay, let, let me, I will do, and I will, another. Another move was from Allah. This from Allah from I tell you, you can kill me, but I tell you, this is a move. I tell you, interfaith movement is a move from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because everything which is happening, is happening from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the idea to some people, look, they may be politically motivated. They may have their own hidden agenda. I'm not saying, I'm not saying every person involved in the interfaith war, every person involved in the interfaith war is sincere. Maybe he has his own agenda or their own agenda. All kind of people are there. Are. And this we had in WC Maya. That we, okay. So what, what, what we wanted with this, the, what, the, uh, what Allah Shmada said that uh, Jews and Christians. We saw in Hindu, with Hindus in 1960s. So coming together and telling, let us understand each other. We want to understand about Islam and you understand us and then we can live together. So this was the move. You know, you want to do Dawa, brother? You know, you know what is the best way to do, do Dawa? In interfaith work? If people, if you will understand others, you will be well prepared for, in, for a Dawa work. And if they will understand you, Dawa is done. Dawa is not to convert. Dawa is to make people understand you who you are, what your Islam is. And you know what the people do? The people, when they are in the interfaith dialogue, they hide or suppress their weak points. And then they raise the good points. So religion emerges as a good thing. And then when they say good things, then they are ashamed of doing bad things. And to do when 9-11 when took place here in America, you know what happened? I received call. I received a call from a Japanese girl, a young lady in New York. She called me, Irfan, how are you? How your family? Due to this thing in 9-11 happening, we are afraid about your own family. And the people went and did the, uh, at, at night they were taking care of the masjid and going here and there. So anyway, something good came out of it. But there may be a lot of politics behind. Our purpose is different. Our purpose is we want to emerge as a true human force. Being Muslim means being true well-wisher of humanity. Of course, those who are, who are Muslim, they have more right upon us. But being a Muslim means being true well-wisher. And Quran invites all human beings who believe in truth, who believe in justice, who believe in peace, who believe in sustainable society to work together. This is what it is. So I think now, after after so many, so much experience, time has come. So Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, uh, Dr. Ghazi mentioned that the last week asked, we are going to have another meeting in last week about the Quran, I tell you. But in this meeting we decided that the the local branch, you know what local means? Local means USA branch. You named a tribe, should be organized. Who is the best person for it? Ghazi. I said, Ghazi is my teacher. He sent me here in America too. So, so Alhamdulillah, Ghazi Sahab has now taken up. And the other persons too, some of them are missing, but they are here. Inshallah, we are looking forward. But you cannot, you cannot knock your hand. Yes, 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 sir. You will have to do something. Ghazi Sahib invited you because Ghazi Sahib needs your help. And another person who is here, who is the real force nowadays, since I'm going back to the Quran, uh, is sitting in that uh, by the side of Ghazi Sahib. Can you look there, Inshallah? Uh, inshallah, Dr. Ahmedullah Siddiq. He is now the real moving force. So this is uh, WCMIA, US, the, the World Council of Muslims, for interfaith relations of USA. And Ghazi Sahib is in charge, and then he has got a good body, and he's done all these people. Excuse me, if I take more time, but it is so much. I think 
rather than we should start doing something. Inshallah, by the end of this meeting, we will have made some uh, such uh, some such a planning, such a strategy. giving us a history of how this all happened. And this is the need of the time, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. We as Muslims have to stand up and look around us and feel this need and get united and respond to the call that we have also to contribute in this change which is coming. What Dr. Ghazi and Dr. Ifan Imad Khan was telling us is that we have to open our hearts, we have to be broad-minded, we have to talk to people of other faith and join their movements. I remember once we were having Brother Rashid uh, would uh, uh, second me. We were having a fundraiser of uh, Muslim civil rights organization and um, who was the congressman? Jesse Jackson, Jr. Jesse Jackson Jr. And Jesse Jackson Jr. said, and he was very sarcastic, and he said, "Today you need us, and you are calling us for help." Where were you when we were out on the streets and struggling? So that's what we have to change. We have to be part of this society and take active, play active role. Ikra International Education Foundation, which is an academic organization, is not a part of World Council of Muslim for uh, World, Com World Council for Muslim Interfaith Relations, but it is helping this organization to work in this respect. And uh, I really thank Dr. Abdullah Ghazi, the Executive Director of Ikra, and all the people who are helping us to organize this seminar, including the people who is, are part of the sponsorship. I see Dr. Uh, 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 Neil Chaudhary here, and uh, Dr. Qadir, Azar, uh, uh, Dr. Azar Qadir, they are here also and we, are, we recognize their services for the community. And I see a lot of other people here. Brother Yusuf Marai, he's sitting in the back. He's the main media person in the Arab American Muslim Society. He has a very active organization, and he's recording it right now, and he told me that he's going to broadcast it today. Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you, Yusuf Marai. Jazakallah. We have Brother Mumtaz Khan here, Javed Bhatti here, uh, who are uh, Brother Ghulam Farooqi here from the Potter uh, Masjid, uh, the Islamic uh, Center.